Hello friends, it's Ash. Welcome to another video on my channel. Um, this is a really weird and unconventional type of video and it's really impromptu because I am just sitting in the car in this parking lot because my dad and my sister are currently waiting in line at a bakery to get my sister's birthday cake because it's her birthday this weekend, uh, which is really exciting. But there's quite a line for some reason and I, I drove them here and I, I'm just waiting for them so sorry if you can like hear parking lot noises but that's that's my current situation right now but yeah so this is a really like impromptu video because i have nothing to do i'm just talking to myself and figured why not like do a little chit chat give you guys a little life update if you're new here be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below sorry this is the first video that you're seeing of me if you are new um i promise it's not always like this but yeah, be sure to give this video a like. Follow me on my social medias. They're linked in the description. Listen to my music. They're all linked in the description as well. And yeah. Also, I feel like I didn't say this before, but I have a TikTok and I'm pretty active on TikTok because quarantine has made me do some very weird things, including downloading that app. So if you want to follow me on TikTok, I'll have my account link down below and i'll have the username floating around on the screen somewhere but follow my tiktok because <laughs> it's just a fun little thing that i like to do so yeah i figured i would just like sit here and give you guys a little life update um so first obviously i'm learning to drive I, that's why i am sitting in the driver's seat of this car right now actually i can take my seatbelt off because there's really no need for that right now but yeah so learning to drive and it's been very long overdue i finally got my permit like back in december but then i went back to school and i didn't really have a chance to like experience driving until i moved back home after corona kicked us out so the first time i started driving was like mid-march and the first two times were absolutely horrible because i don't know why but just like driving around in that parking lot just gave me so much anxiety and there there was no reason why like it wasn't an abandoned parking lot there was no one around and for some reason like every time i got behind the steering wheel i just wanted to cry but then one day my dad like took me out into the roads for the first time with like other cars for some reason i ended up feeling more relaxed on the roads than i did in that parking lot and for some reason I think it is just that parking lot that gives me bad vibes because I went there yesterday to practice parking because I am really bad at parking. Like, it's a miracle. Am I even in the lines? It's a miracle. Like, I even parked this car where it is right now and I purposely did it where there are no other cars around because I, I, I don't trust myself like that. But yeah, so I've been learning how to drive and I've been learning how to park and I'm hoping to get my license before I go back to school in the fall, which is a really good segue into the fact that Drexel announced that as long as Philadelphia is in their green phase, which is how they're like reopening things, they're going in color phases, as long as we're in the green phase by September, then we're good to move back in, which is awesome. I'm really, really excited for that. Oh god, I miss being on campus so much. I miss the independence of like being able to go out and do whatever I want without having to ask permission or like ask for rides and whatever because obviously like I still can't drive on my own. So yeah, it's just really good to like be on campus and have that independence and I can, I, I can hang out with my friends whenever I want and I decide what I want to do with my time and there's just so much more to do in Philly than there is at home. Yeah, I'm really glad that they're letting us move back in and hopefully things do get better. I know with all the protests that have happened with these past few weeks, cases have spiked a little bit. I don't think Philly has had any spikes yet. I do know that New York, where I live, we're experiencing a little bit of an increase in cases from before, but um, stay-at-home orders were lifted for us. Um, actually, like, three days ago so very recently so yeah obviously we're still taking things seriously we're still wearing our masks outside which is actually why i'm getting in this car right now because my sister forgot to bring her mask so i just let her use mine and i'm staying in here so we're being responsible but yeah so stay at home orders were lifted which is awesome i don't feel bad about 
going outside. I don't feel scared to go outside anymore, which is good. And I'm hoping to make it to the beach soon with my friends. Another exciting thing that's happening is Harry is coming to visit me in the next weekend. I think the weekend after this. He's coming down. No, he lives south of me. He's coming up <laughs> to Long Island um, to hang out and to see me. And I'm really excited because I haven't seen him in three months, like, since we were forced to move out. And long distance is super hard, guys. Like, it sometimes feels like you're dating a phone screen more than a person. So the fact that he's, like, coming up here and I'm gonna, like, see him in person is gonna be insane. Oh, this guy is just parking right next to me, isn't he? Oh, never mind. All right. Sayonara, homeboy. But yeah, anyways, I'm really excited for him to come up here because I have so many plans for him. I can't wait to show him, like, what living on Long Island is like when on, on a good day or when you have friends because I wouldn't know what that's like. I'm kidding. I have quite a few friends up here on Long Island from high school, but I've, I have come to realize that, like, I've lost contact with a lot of people from high school and I honestly, like, I'm not grieving over it. Which I guess kind of just shows how much high school friends matter to you. Um, that's not to say that high school friends are like totally pointless. Like, of course, keep in touch with people from high school. I love all of my high school friends. I really wish them the best. But I haven't really hung out with a lot of the people that I ended high school with in a long time. I feel like that just goes to show that whatever drama you're going through in high school just really doesn't end up mattering because after a year of like being graduated from high school after a year of college i've already met so many amazing people that i know are gonna be in my life for a very long time and none of the drama none of the shit that i went through in high school matters anymore so that's just a little life lesson for you guys from someone that's experienced quite a bit of drama especially in their last year of high school <laughs> other than all of that classes have ended finally um finals week was last week and i am proud to say that i didn't have to pass fail any of my classes because i basically got all a's and i think one b plus in a class which is like not a big deal so ended freshman year strong which i'm really proud to say because i'm gonna be totally honest i did not expect to get decent grades this quarter just with everything that went on and like all the change that happened i i was surprised i was able to keep it together as much as i did especially because my anxiety has gone up a lot from being home because when i'm at school i'm so busy that i don't have time to just sit and be alone with my thoughts and think of everything that gives me anxiety but since i'm home and there's really not much for me to do i've been doing that a lot more often which is not great and I should really find ways to cope with that so I'm trying but yeah I'm just very surprised with like given the state of my mental health I'm surprised that I came out of freshman year really well but I'm also really proud of myself for that I'm just like trying my best to improve my mental health in every way possible and my physical health as well like especially during the beginning of quarantine I ate a bunch like I stress a I binge ate it was really bad I had already gained weight from college I think I gained like 10 pounds which was oh that was so bad even though I worked out and I walked around a lot I just it just happened that way I guess um so continuing that unhealthy ooh I mean I can't judge his parking job but that's not a great parking job but anyways as I was saying I gained a lot of weight over the course of college and the beginning of quarantine so I've been really trying to lose it and I'm proud to say I'm down like four pounds, six pounds. I don't really, four to six pounds, somewhere in that range because it fluctuates day to day. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to lose weight. I'm trying to be healthy, especially for the summer. But more importantly, I'm trying to learn to love my body the way it is. And even as I'm trying to make changes to it and um, working out and eating healthy to make myself feel better in my body, I also still want to learn how to love my body the way it is right now and love the process that i'm going through if that makes any sense i've been buying oh she just zooming past me okay hello <laughs> i'm just trying to like maintain a body positivity um i posted a bikini picture today which i never do and i 
Okay. Let me tell you, I had a whole debate with myself about it for a while before I ended up um, getting up the guts to post it. Like, I texted my boyfriend, I texted my best friends, and I was like, be honest, should I do this? <laughs> and they were all very encouraging, so I just decided screw it why not and people are being so nice on social media which is super cool because social media is like a really toxic place sometimes for girls body image and especially like scrolling through tiktok you see all of these amazing beautiful influencers and you think like oh why can't i look like them but the point is like you're not made to be look like them like you're made to be real and you're made to be yourself and nobody is perfect and i've slowly started to realize that everyone has their own insecurities because we all view ourselves under a microscope but in reality like other people they, they don't care as much they're not gonna like zoom in on all of your instagram pictures and be like fat rolls gross <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I didn't, I don't know when this became, like, a body, body positivity lecture, but, um, I've just been trying to learn how to love my body, especially with summer coming, like, and everyone's posting their photos at the beach and their bathing suits, it, it can be a very difficult time for people that have body insecurities, and I just want to say, like, you're all beautiful, and no matter what you choose to do with your body just know that you are perfect in whatever way you are as long as you love yourself i've always been an advocate for loving yourself i mean i literally have a tattoo of the phrase love yourself on my body but i know that loving yourself is a very like it's a very long process and there are ups and downs with it and i even i can't say that i am fully confident in who i am and i love myself fully but I can say that I've gotten a lot better when I started realizing that I need to be confident in myself. I've definitely improved over the year that I've been practicing self-love. Um, I don't really know what else to say right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so driving, school, Harry, friendships, um, summer, uh body positivity those are all of the things i can think of right now that are worth talking about gosh this video is just like a whole big rant with me in the car so i'm sorry if this is not what you were expecting but that's all for this video i guess thank you guys so much for watching um i hope that you gain something from this especially talking about body positivity and like um drama and friendships and all of that because i feel like i've grown a lot since my senior year of high school and i feel like i'm being a little nostalgic right now because i've ended my freshman year of college and i just find that so crazy because i remember when college was like my entire life and i remember throughout high school i would get good grades for college i would go through testing and college visits and like all the application processes that i went through for all the different schools i applied to it was just i remember when college like took over my life like or the preparations for it and like I remember waiting to go to college and being like this is my moment and now that I've finished a year of it it's crazy like how fast that year flew by because it's like you spent your whole life waiting for something and then it just went by so fast and you you made it to this point you never thought you would get to where you are right now so yeah but I hope that I imparted some wisdom on you from like being a person that has grown a lot in the past year um and just especially everyone right now dealing with the adversity that the coronavirus has had and all of 2020 basically like this year is ugh, this year has been a big yikes and a half but, but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed listening to my rant of me in the car and with that being said if you made it to this point you're a very good human and i'll see you in my next video bye Dream